What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So a few months ago I ordered parts from overseas and uh, I was supposed to get it in about three to four weeks, roughly in about a month. But I'm guessing because of COVID everything got pushed back and delayed. Uh, so yeah, it took me about three months before I received this package. I was super afraid it would be lost in the mail. But without further ado, let me show you guys. I got new wheels. All right, so first up, yes, these wheels are used. I bought them from a seller all the way in Russia. So if I have any subscribers from Russia, shout out to you. Bunch of Russian packaging here. So over here, there are two wheels. And it came in a separate package with another two wheels, which I already did unbox to check it out. And behind, you guys would see some raised boxes. Uh, so, funny story is, my boy Long, he bought some raised wheels. And he asked me if I wanted these boxes, otherwise he's going to throw them away. I'm like, perfect. When my wheels come in, I can use these for packaging. So, whenever you buy your raised wheels new, they come with these boxes. And then... I also spend money to separately buy these race I guess you can call it wheel cover. So usually when you buy it, like I said, the wheel's there and you have the wheel cover over it. So you guys will see the finished product later. Um, let me go ahead and unboxing this. And like I said, I already took apart two of them. Just looking at it like this, it looks like it's not sturdy. It looks like maybe it's not packaged well or might scratch or scuff the wheels. But I do have to say, from my personal experience when unboxing this, this is actually super sturdy, super, super thick packaging. I think it took me almost like 30 minutes to rip this thing apart, even with a knife. So yeah, <laughs> let's go ahead and unbox it. And actually, before I open it up, if you guys have any idea or clue what wheels it might be, leave in the comment section below. Pause this video, tell me what you think it is before watching this video. Uh, I'm pretty excited, like I said, these wheels have been... Uh, for a while before I finally got them. So let's go ahead and unwrap this and see what's inside. Alright, so literally after half an hour, and I'm not exaggerating because this thing is just packaged really, really good, which is a good thing because it being shipped from overseas. The bad thing is whenever I'm taking it apart, it just takes forever. Um, yeah, layers and layers. Literally, it's like string wrap with tape, with box, and then foam, and then more boxes and more boxes. It's like box after box. So yeah, packaged really good. I, you know, pretty much inspected the wheels, one last one to go, and then I'll do a little review for you guys what wheels we have. Just to show you guys what I mean, rip this apart, you rip the box, there's another box, you rip that apart, there's another foam, there's another box, it's just layer after layer. Alright, so there's layers and layers of wrapping, I gotta take a little break from this last one, taking forever. In the meantime, in other news, I just picked up this uh, mountain bike. If you guys have been up to date with my vlogs, you know that some of my boys, Long, E-Man, AJ, all of them have been into mountain biking lately. And I haven't owned a bike for, I want to say like 10, 15 years. It's been a long, long time. So yeah, this is E-Man's old bike. I bought it off him. The brand is uh, Sherwin, I think, Sherwin. And yeah, pretty much uh, got to cleaning the bike. 
everything was working the only thing i needed was the rear shock was blown on the other one so i bought this online put it together and uh, i'll be going on my first mountain bike ride tomorrow so i probably won't do a vlog on it yet but if any of you guys are interested to see some of these mountain biking vlogs leave in the comment section below as well um, who knows, maybe if I get a little better, I'll get a GoPro and mount it to my head while I go for some bike rides. Alright, so pretty much all the boxes are gone. I gotta be real nice and delicate with this one just because it's just held in by foam and some tape. Last layer, you got this. Alright, so this is the aftermath ripping apart the packaging. Like I said, it took me a long, long time. And just look at that. Look at how thick it is. That's good because you want my wheels to be safe and sound and protected. But uh, yeah, without further ado, you guys are now here to see me just unwrapping. You guys want to see the new wheels as well. So let's show you guys the wheels. So there you have it guys, yes they are race, Volk Racing T37s, my personal favorite wheels of all time. Uh, these particular ones are the OG T37s that are in bronze. So if you guys know me, I already have a few sets of TEs. The set on my FG2 Civic Si are the OG T37s as well. By OG I mean the older design, um, like early 2000s. And then we also have another set of T37 SLs from my Mitsubishi Lancer Turbo build. And then also rocking the Ray's Gram Light wheels, which is a more affordable option. But yeah, I love the Vogue Racing T37s. I personally never own a set of bronze ones, and I've always wanted to own a set. So I'm not really sure yet what the plans are for these wheels. Um, I might just keep them. I'm not sure which car I want to throw them on, so I might just keep them for now. The specs aren't exactly great specs, but I got it for a pretty good deal. Um, so again, they are used, but as you can tell, there's like zero curb rash. And this is not just this one wheel. All four wheels are like that. No curb rash, no scuffings, nothing like that. Pretty much in mint condition. And if you guys are wondering, these are 18 inch, not just because of the box, but these are actually 18 inch T37s as well. Uh, in the right bolt pattern that I have, which is 5 by 114.3. Again, I'm not too sure if I want to sell it yet, but maybe if someone offers me a good price for it, I might. Um, right now, like I said, we have the Civic Si and the Mitsubishi Lancer on T37s. I'm not too sure if I want to throw the TEs onto the RSX yet, just because she is my daily driver. Uh, I don't really want to get too dirty. I think the Gram Lights look great as well, fits it perfectly. Maybe I'll keep the T37s for my next build. What do you guys think? So if you guys have been watching my videos and staying up to date, you will know recently I picked up another part right up there for my next build. Um, again, not anything anytime soon, but if I do see a good deal and I have the additional funds to spend it, I do. And I love wheels. I love T37s. You guys probably already know by now. So again, if you guys stick to the very end, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you guys want to see these T37s on the car, let me know as well. Otherwise, I do have to buy tires if I do slap them on. Uh, and like I said, who knows? Maybe I'll try it on. Maybe I'll do a little test fit without the tires. Who knows? But leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you want to know when new videos out, hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one.